What is going on everyone? My name is Turk. This is Level 1 News and today we're talking about the SNES Classic pre-order debacle. I'm sure all of you know it because you saw the news everywhere or maybe you even participated in it, but the pre-orders went up on August 22nd for the SNES Classic and just like I predicted, it was an absolute mess. Now, before I get into my whole rant, and I say I told you so, uh, I, let's go over the, um, the actual events on how it went down. So without any word from Nintendo, uh, the pre-orders started going up on August 22nd in the middle of the night uh, for the pre-orders, right? Uh, that was like the first sign that you knew there was going to be a major problem. And basically what happened was Amazon and Best Buy, their pre-orders went up over in the middle of the night, basically, right? So by the time most people got up, the pre-orders were already sold out for those two sites. Uh, and there's a very particular reason why that happened, but I'll get back to that in a minute. So as the day went on, GameStop then posted online saying that pre-orders are now open at retail stores. Of course, everyone ran to a GameStop, uh, including me. I was, I was actually on my lunch break at the time, and I figured, you, you know, I knew they were going to be sold out. I knew all this was going to happen anyway, but it's kind of like playing the lottery. I was like, you know what, let me, let me try. And when I got there, of course, they were sold out already, uh, and I saw online GameStop pre-orders uh, at the retail stores. They were pretty much all sold out within minutes. So anyway, later on that day, the, the other retail stores like Target and Walmart and GameStop's website, Pre-orders went up, just like the other places, uh, the pre-orders were sold out right away, within minutes, so that's how fast this thing was, but that that is how the situation kind of uh, went on uh, the day the pre-orders went up. So I normally don't like to toot my own horn, but I'll make an exception this time because I predicted this shit exactly in my previous video. And I caught some attention too with it, that video? was the most watched video that I had ever published on this channel. So I know what I was saying was the truth. Basically, in that video, I detailed everything that was going to happen. I detailed the reasons why Nintendo puts out products like this, puts out the classic consoles out in limited supplies like this. I went through all the details about it and I explained how this is done by design. This is done on purpose. And, uh, and now I'm seeing a lot of like blogs and videos about people saying like, oh, Nintendo is so inept, or they, wow, Nintendo so didn't learn their mistakes from last time. That's bullshit. They knew exactly what was going to happen. They're not inept. They did it, they knew what was going to happen and they did it anyway. They are a multi-billion dollar corporation. You don't think? that they don't have smart people working for like their productions and manufacturing? You don't think they, they have smart people working on it? You don't think they have data that says that this is going to be a hot ass item? Of course they do. They're a huge ass corporation. You don't think that they can figure it out on their own that the SNES Classic is going to be a big seller, especially when they saw last year that the NES Classic was a hot selling item? They did it on purpose. That's what I'm trying to tell everyone here. Now you might say that that's bullshit like I don't believe that Nintendo wouldn't purposely do that I see a lot of people saying that like online right now and I'm telling you they they know they did this on purpose it's not about selling classic consoles it's about getting attention it's about generating hype it's about everyone talking about Nintendo again that's what they want that's the whole point of these classic consoles think of it this way all right when the pre-orders went up right the SNES, SNES Classic was trending on Twitter the entire day. Every news site was talking about it. Every gaming site was talking about it. Hundreds of people on YouTube were making videos about it. Everyone was talking about it that day. That's the kind of advertisement that Nintendo is after and that's the kind of advertisement that you can't get by putting up a commercial on TV or putting up a, you know, a banner ad on a website or by putting up a billboard. That's the kind of advertising Nintendo was after and we all fed into it we all got our asses played by it with the nes classic you could at least say that oh well you know they didn't know that was a brand new kind of product 
they didn't know it was going to be as popular as it was going to be so you know maybe they had manufacturing problems or they didn't um, plan on producing that much but now with the SNES classic they know they saw how much it, how many people were talking about it online when they first announced it they know the games are better the, the games are are better this time there's a second controller packed in with it there's a game on the console that no one's ever played before you know like that, that that's the kind of shit that like everyone's every Nintendo fan is gonna want to try out everyone's gonna want to play Star Fox 2 they know like they they that's what I'm saying like they know what they're doing here it's the same shitty business tactic that they used last time and and they clearly saw what happened with the NES classic right and they didn't they didn't change anything they didn't do anything yeah okay maybe they increased the units right maybe instead of every GameStop had you know 10 NES classic pre-orders uh, this time maybe they had 30 or whatever but like I said in my previous video any extra supply is gonna be absorbed by the even more hype and even more people wanting to buy this thing and I also said in that previous video that the the uh, the price of the SNES classic is artificially low so everyone wants it if Nintendo wanted they could sell the console for $150 and people would still buy it and what do you know that day when the pre-orders went up uh, GameStop and ThinkGeek, they put up a bunch of shitty bundles that were like $120, $150, and those sold out too! So, you could see it right there, like, people are willing to pay uh, like $120, $150 for this thing. So, but Nintendo doesn't, they purposely don't. They want to keep the price low so that everyone wants one. It's not about like, oh, it's, it's, oh, this is only for like Nintendo collectors, or this is only for like, you know, hardcore gamers or anything like that. That's why it's priced so low at $80. Also, to the people who are wondering why the pre-orders for Amazon and Best Buy went up when they did, it was because those websites, they knew what was going to happen. They knew this was going to be a very popular item. So they purposely put up the pre-orders when they did to avoid the insane amount of traffic that they knew they were going to get. So they got, they were actually kind of smart and get, they got ahead of the shit show. Um, so that they, they they could say, well, we put up our pre-orders, that's, that's it for us. You know, they don't want to have to deal with all that nonsense of people bringing down their websites. Because that's probably what would have happened. If we all knew when the pre-orders were going to go up, and they all went up at the same time, all those websites would have gotten destroyed from the traffic. So that's why Amazon and Best Buy, they got, a, they got ahead and they just put their pre-orders up in the middle of the night and you, they were like, you know what, we don't give a f we're just gonna put this we're just gonna put this up now because we know like there's gonna be there's not enough supply and there's way too too much demand for this thing like you do you think that this it was an accident when Amazon and Best Buy put up their pre-orders hell no they knew exactly what they were doing they knew this was going to be a problem and that's what I'm and that's what I'm talking about here guys it's all planned out it's all by design it's not incompetence it's not Nintendo messing things up as usual they did this on purpose. They want the artificial scarcity. It's not a conspiracy theory. It's right there in front of you to see, you know? It's it, this isn't it's like right there in plain sight. You can see it. They knew exactly what was going to happen and they did it anyway. This is manipulative. That's my whole thing. You're you're playing people. That's what I, that's what pisses me off. Uh, please share this video with Nintendo fans. Let them know what's going on. Let them know what's really happening here. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is Turk, and thank you for watching Level 1 News.